Once Natasha met a dragon by Anna Feberg and Baba Feberg. Pictures by Kim Gamble. Ever since he could remember, Tasha had been told stories about the dragon. Grandmother said the dragon lived over the mountain and far away. Second uncle said the dragon lived in a palace of gold. He seen it once with his telescope, twinkling like a star. Wise as an owl, said. They'd be lucky if they never saw a dragon in their whole lives. But everyone agreed that to, to, it was the dragon who brought the rains. Once a year, smoke and thunder came spilling down the mountain and into the village. That'll be the dragon shimmering away like a great pot on the boil, Grandmother said. Don't worry, Tashi. He's cooking up a rain in a big lashing rook being a raw rain that will wash away all the dirt and the dullies of the year and make the air sparkle like a million diamonds. That's what a dragon does for you. Until one year, when Tashi had grown up to his father's waist, the rain didn't come. The rice blacked in the field, and the sun heat to lay thick as a blanket over the land. Maybe the dragon is dead. The low to ahead, the fortune teller wanted, concealing his chart. Grandmother didn't think so. The dragons live almost forever. Wise as an owl was worried, and no one knows how old our dragon is. Nobody has ever dared climb up the mountain to see. Just then, a, fo- a forest of pines exploded like firecrackers. Smoke rose into a cloud that floated into the top of the mountain and stayed there. Good luck, said, said the look. Go ahead, he He's awake. Soon the rains will come. But the skies stayed blue. The air crackled, the fires flew, and the earth turned to dust. Something has to be done, Tashi said to Lotus Blossom. But what? The next day when Tashi and Lotus Blossom were over walking along the dry creek bed, they decided to, to stop to shot. A bangled white tiger was lying under the willow tree. Could I trouble you for to for have a sip of water? The tiger asked politely. I hadn't had a good drink for days. Tashi poured water from his flask into the tiger's mouth. So he, he gulped it down so ugly that the lotus blossom added hers. But when the, the, the tiger finished, so Tashi asked how the tail look came to be burnt. And I have a... Uh, Got to caught in the dragon's fire, said the tiger. Oh, have you seen the dragon? asked the lotus blossom. Why doesn't he bring the reins? The tiger shook his head. To she, the old dragon is a she, and she's not the old dragon who's, who's starting these fires. It's the young one, Tum Tum, her boy. He hasn't learned to to flame a magnet, and he's angry that his mother has fallen asleep and won't wake up. Tashi and Lotus Blossom looked at each other. Ah, said Tashi, two dragons. What else do you know about them? Well, said the tiger, one thing I know for certain is the, the 
There's another Teen Dragons are afraid of except demons. Everyone's afraid of demons. Try to lose his boss. Lotus Blossom, yes, said the tiger, but demons can steal it to dragon's dreams and never leave. Oh, cried Dashi, I met a demon once, but I didn't look into its eyes because you can get trapped in dreaming trance forever. He thought for a moment, dear tiger, could you possibly show us the way up the mountain to see the dragons? The tiger said yes, he could, and in return for their kindness, he could take uh, one on, of them uh, on his back. Tashi looked at Lotus Blossom. Oh, that's right, said Lotus Blossom. Quickly, you go, Tashi. I'll run back and tell Grandmother what happened. Good luck. So Tashi rode on the tiger's back over the field, through the forest, up the top of the mountain, where only dragons live. I will leave you here, Tashi, she said, the tiger. When the, the young dragon comes back, don't show yourself. Speak with gentle to, with gain, to gain his trust, or he will eat you as soon as as uh, look at you. Tashi crouched sh- sh- down uh, amongst the bushes and waited on his knees. Uh, the ground was baking hot. Only the sounds were the breeze in the trees and the rumbling snore. He peeked through the leaves and blinked at the cave with its golden palace glowing above. Uh, just as the second uncle have said. Suddenly there was a, there was the thunder snap of wings. A dragon flew down and stopped right outside of the cave. Mama, I'm home. Are you awake? Please come out to play. It's so boring by myself all day. There's uh, no reply, only a rumbling snore and a breeze in the trees. The young dragon sat down, no, bluff on the ground. A tear, tear splashed on to his the tummy. He sang softly to himself. Here I sit, so sad and lonely. All I can think is, if only, if only I had to didn't aid my sister. No one said how much I miss her. The young dragon sighed, and a bush near Tashi burst into flames. He leapt away and fell right at the dragon's feet. Oh, what are you? cried the dragon. I'm, are you a friend of food? Maybe I should taste you just to see. No, Tashi said. You, you had far too much to eat already. And if you swallowed me, you have no one to talk to. Would you rather have company? Yes, I would, said the dragon. He put his head in his wings and began to rock. I feel so desolate, depressed and doomed. My mother asleep, my sister consumed. What do you like to hear, Starry? To take your mind off uh, troubles? asked Ashley. I have many adventures in my time. Once I was captured by a witch, I nearly baked in her oven. Oh no, too scary. Well, once I was captured by the river pirates uh, and uh, nearly became th- their slave. Oh no, I don't like pirates and all those s- swords and swearing. Well, once uh, I was nearly hypnotized by the demons, the dragon leapt up uh, toward Tashi's. Demons, demons are the worst. They steal our treasure and... Oh, my mother will be in a demon sleep forever. Tom began to cry if, if it never stopped. Oh, you, said Tashi, tell me 
What does your mother do when you hurt yourself? She wraps me up with her wings. What else is it, Tash? She, she sings uh, me a special song. Well, I think you should sing that right now. And no, you feel, you'll feel better. No, cried Tom Tom. But they uh, uh, said it's our secret song. It only belongs to us. Your mother didn't know uh, uh, you uh, would be left lonely, Tashi said. And I'm sad. I sing a song to my mother, they told me. The dragon looked at Tashi. He took a deep breath. We are dragons of fire, right? Of the thunder, rain, and deep moonlight. We are all that the earth, and the earth was new. Ringing through forest wet and with dew. Come on now, my child, and sing with me of shiny jewels and sparkling sea. We'll breathe our fire, your wheels. You'll smite our bow and let our winds and the freight fields will grow. At the last word, a snow from the darkness grew into a wall, and suddenly a door from the cave was filled with a dragon nearly evoking, fire beating, outraged dragon. Mommy, dum dum. The dragons nosed each other, and uh, and then the old dragon saw Tashi. Who is this? said the fiercely. Has he hurt you? No, said Tom Tom. It was Tashi who told he, who told me to sing our song, and that's why he, what uh, woke you up. The demons sleep, roared the old dragon. Our treasure will be gone, shook her head and blinked. Never mind, you're still here, my lad. And what did you have done with your sister? I ate her. The old dragon ground. Oh, Tom Tom, you must think before you act. I always tell, I can see, I'm, I'm going to have teach you the, the dragon law, my idea. Rule number one, never eat your sister. Rule number two, if something happened to eat her, you must stand on your horns and sing your song backwards and open your mouth wide and she will come. And that what the young dragon did. There was an enormous explosion that shook the ground beneath their feet. And out to flew a small dragon, hot and corrupted to and cross. Now that's better, said the old dragon. Now I must grant this Tashi person a dragon vest for his trouble. What will it be? Itashi shattered the family of dragons. He shook his head, dazed. It, what uh, to we really need is rain. Could you please us in the rains? Yes, and show me how, uh, cried the little sister. And me too, cried Tom Tom. The old dragon lifted her head, uh, shooting a single flame into the sky. She guided her children around her. Well, listen now, she told them, uh, and from her dragon mouth, uh, the wisp of the dragon words blew into the air and bloomed into black balloons that burst against the sky. And with words, uh, came the lashing, whooping, roaring rains that rained down the mountainside, filling the creeks and flowing the river. Now I will take you back to your family, the old dragon said. She settled the Tashi on her back and they flew over the fields across the river safely back home. Their grandmother across the river and safely back home. Their grandmother the and Lotus Blossom, as wise as an hour while laughing with joy, their arms were lifted into the sparkling sky.